Well, a major flaw dubbed Heartbleed has been found in the encryption software that protects personal data on the internet. It's been revealed that the flaw has been around for about two years and leaves no way of telling if information has been compromised. Now the race is on to fix the problem before hackers take advantage. Hamish Fitzsimmons reports. Online engineers and tech experts agree that while people shouldn't panic about Heartbleed, a bit of paranoia might help. We don't have any idea whether a computer has been attacked by the heart bleed bug because it leaves no trace. On a web page, when the lock icon appears in the web address, it means the page is, in theory, secure, using what's called SSL, which is meant to encrypt information and protect it from third parties. Heartbleed exploits a programming mistake in the commonly used open SSL code. This allows, theoretically at least, an attacker to eavesdrop upon sensitive communications between your computer and uh, the website you're transacting with. That could mean, for example, that your passwords, uh, credit card and other details uh, could be intercepted. A Google staffer discovered the flaw and the company began alerting internet security companies before it became public earlier this week. So that they could create a fix for that bug and then they released that information to the world. It's really very important when you're dealing with such a massive bug that you do it in a staged fashion that allows people to fix the bug before attackers can take advantage of it. There's all sorts of speculation about how long the bug has been around for and why it was only recently discovered. A lot of people are thinking that perhaps some of the national security organizations, which we all know, they may have been aware of the bug, but it was in their interest to not inform people about the bug because it gave them a wide open access to being able to gather data. While the scale of the problem is still being worked out, people can take simple steps to protect their information. So it could well be a long haul for us as we look to uh, uh, secure the internet uh, again. Uh, but as an end user, all you can possibly do is to have a new password for each of the websites that you use, have a different password for each of those websites and make it hard to guess. A password change may mean heart bleed won't turn into heartbreak. Hamish Fitzsimmons, Lateline.